All right, I'm at the PCA Orange County Region's 50th anniversary Concorde today. I'm gonna walk around, show you guys some of my favorite cars. I'll probably have some questions. Uh, maybe I can talk to some owners, but let's see what happens. Surprise! All right, so this color is actually called Summer Yellow. It's a one year only, what the owner told me. And it's been lowered in the back just a little bit. He said that it was a little too low when he got it and raised it up. So it's actually like a perfect Euro height now. Looks really good. I feel like this color is more of like a 70s color but it made in 87, very, very cool. Only about five of these were made. The car new in 87. Wow. Um, the one year only color, maybe five Carreras built that year uh, in this color. Did you order this color or did you go in and it no, was just it sitting was, there? It was on the lot. It was on yeah. the lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a, a lot in, in Garden Grove called Meister Porsche and they um, basically went out of business right yeah. after that. But it, it had chrome wheels on it. And, a weird steering wheel. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Made him take those off. Even then, I knew it was uh, was you know the, the stock stuff was better. Yeah. But, uh, oh, so did yeah, you, daily you, driver for years? You were the first owner. Yeah, first owner. Okay, but it yeah. came with the chrome wheels and the yeah. The... yeah. I made him. I made him take those off. Nice. Before I drew it off. Nice. Yeah. But, uh, what made you buy a 911 that year? Well, I was. I figured I could afford an SC. Yeah. And a couple of years old, you know. And, uh -huh. and so uh, we got to, we drove by the the Porsche dealer, and when I saw the yellow car, I said, I knew I had a new car. <laughs> My wife loved yellow. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. What a special car. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. So Dave told me it was his daily driver for how many years? How many years? Twenty. For 20 years, he put over 120,000 miles, is that right? All right, and now his daily driver is a 08 Carrera S. First car that I actually parked my car next to is this short wheelbase. It is so cool. From the back, it's super skinny. Look at this. This color's amazing. Let's go to this side. You can see... Classic Fuchs, right? Not painted. The wood interior. You've got the green dials that I just love for, from these years. And look at how clean this interior is. No headrests on these cars. Only that single mirror. It's a long hood. I mean, this car is just amazing. Looks like same color, 356 coupe. Let's look inside. Beautiful brown interior. Really cool car. Look at this one, same color. Love the look. Always love the, the vintage luggage on the back. One of the first cars I noticed when I came in, this 73. And you know why? Because I just saw Top Gun last night and we know that the star of Top Gun was that 73S. So let's take a look at this one. All right, so this is the owner. What's your name? Sean Patrick. Sean, will you tell me about this uh, 911E? It's a 73E that I've had since 1984. It's original color, original interior, original motor. Uh, put I think about 33,000 miles on it and this is now going on almost 40 years. Wow. Uh, I've had I've had lots of air-cooled cars, but this is one I'll take to the grave with me. Yeah, and this is your dad's, right? It was, yeah, it was one of my dad's cars. Very cool. And so how many miles did it have on it when he got it? it I don't remember. It had 73,000 on it when I got it. Okay. Wow, cool. Thanks so much. Yep, thank you. Check out the stance on this car. It has been lowered a little bit. I think it's just perfect. You don't see these long hoods that are lowered too often, and this is not too low. 
it's just right. All right, I'm here with the owner of this really cool 86 Targa, and you know that I am a fan of 86 Targas because I have one. So tell me your name. Uh, my name's Tom. Tom, Tom. Burns, yes. Cool, Tom. So tell me about this car. Yeah, I've had it uh, just over a year or so. Um, the previous owner had it painted, and um, I had the interior done and some mechanical work. And you were the one that changed the wheels? Or I the previous the owner had done that? No, I did that, actually. Yeah, so Tom was telling me that he moved the sevens from the back to the front, yep. and then he got eight and a halves in the back, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. It, just, they, it just fills out the wheel. Yeah. It's a bit more, the, you know, the face of the wheel and tire come out a little bit. Yeah, because I'm struggling with that right now. I'm actually going to get some spacers on mine just yeah. to fill it, yeah. And then also the tire looks kind of almost too bulgy with the narrower wheels. Right. So it helps... Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, this car has an interesting history. Uh, the first owner was uh, Tom Cruise. What? No yeah, way! I just saw Top Gun last night. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so he bought it in uh, April of '86 in Chicago. He had just finished Top Gun, the uh -huh. original Top Gun, and was filming The Color of Money okay. in Chicago. Yeah. So probably, I'm just assuming with his recent uh, success Stardom. Yeah. and. Um, he wanted to treat himself for all the hard work he's been done. So I'm assuming he just went to a local dealership in uh, in Chicago and, and bought this. No car. way. And so, what owner are you? What number are you? Do you I know? Think I'm like uh, I think I'm like five. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But I know the previous, at least the previous two owners. Oh, okay. Yeah, not know them personally, but right, I, know who they are. I know who they are now. Actually, I've kind of befriended the previous. Owners. Yeah. Very cool. And you've got the original. Um, Radio in there, it looks like, yeah. right? Radio. Yeah. Sports seats that have been refinished. Sports yeah. Seats. It looks like your Targa bar has been repainted. Yes. Mine was too. That's how I noticed. Yeah. And anything in the motor? Uh, motor's been rebuilt. Yep. Um, Mine too. It's probably only got Beautiful. less than a thousand miles on it. It's yeah. Out. Yeah, you can eat off of it. Yeah. It's pretty clean. <laughs> looks great. Yeah, thank you. You'll notice that Tom's car has the Cars Inc. Uh, redone top, so I'm excited to see mine when it comes back from New Jersey. Hey, uh, it's a 66 911. Okay. Uh, we've had the vehicle since uh, 1984. Okay. Um, it's had a total of eight owners. It's got 236,000 miles on it. Wow. This is its third engine. Uh huh. Um, all that was done prior to us. Uh, becoming the owners yeah and uh, we used it as a daily driver I love uh, early that. early in our in our marriage until it became time for kids and uh, yeah. it, though it has hauled the kids it's not a great kid hauler I've got kids I've, I've put my son in my back with yeah. the, the car seat and the whole deal sure and so yeah. yeah so we we went with something larger but this became the weekend car yeah and uh, then in 17 it just Everything on the car was original. Yeah. In terms of the seals, the gaskets, everything, and so it was showing its age. Yeah. Badly. So it was time um, to do a full restoration. So wow. we, at, at, we just took the big plunge and uh, found a shop that uh, would do the paint and body and allow me to work on the car as well. Oh, cool. So uh, I did all the stuff that took no talent whatsoever. <laughs> uh, you know, the scraping the undercoat off yeah. and taking out know, the, the tar from That's the inside. That's you're part of the process, oh, yeah, there's right? owner sweat equity. Yeah. In this. Uh, I took care of all the parts ordering and that kind of stuff. So, so was it originally Bahama Yellow? Yes, this this is how it came from the factory. Uh -huh. Bahama Yellow, tan interior. Yeah, and you uh, redid the interior, right? Yes, it's yeah. a full restoration on the interior. Great. When my wife purchased it, someone had changed the seats out to black. Mm -hmm. um, 68 seats, so they had a different style headrest on them. Uh, we took it back to the way it came so from the factory. Are those, would you mind showing me the interior? No, no. Yeah, all the judging's done now, so oh, we, can, good. we can do all that stuff. So are these how the seats would have been? Yes. These headrests? Yes. Oh, I've never seen headrests like this on yes. these old cars. These are 356 headrests. You'll see them on the uh, vehicle yeah. next door. Um, and is that wood? Is that yeah, how it came? Yeah, it's a wood dash. Really? Wow, I've never seen a wood dash like that. Actually, when my wife purchased it, uh, it was a different color. It was a, a color golden oak. Yeah. And it went so well with the car, we thought that's the way it was supposed to be. Uh -huh. But then when we were going through the restoration, you take this lower panel off, 
there's a corner of the wood that's been covered its oh. entire life. Well, it was this color. It was the mahogany. So we decided, okay, well, we got to take it back the way the factory intended it. So that's why we went from the gold note back to uh, back to mahogany. Wow, so this has the dog leg. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. It does. Transmission, then, right? Yes, it does. Great. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for showing well, me. Absolutely. My Now this car may be one of my favorites. 1986 Targa. Yeah, it's my car. Just kidding. All right, so I'm here with the owner of this. Uh, is it a 90? 90. 90. 911 C4. C4. And tell me about it. I've liked this car since I first saw it when I was like 14 years old. Yeah. I was in the passenger seat. My mom picked me up for my dad's work. It passed me on the 405. <laughs> And Are you from LA? Yeah, I'm from LA. Yeah. And then I had a buddy who owned this car, and I told him if he ever wanted to sell it. Nice. He planted the seed. Yeah. Smart. He did. He called me two years later and says, said the number. Yeah. And we made a deal. And so how long have you had it? Two years. Cool. Two now, years. How many miles are on the car? A hundred. A hundred. Perfect. A hundred. But it's always been woke cared for is original paint yeah it looks amazing is it stock uh, ride height no i changed it with i changed it to uh bilstein pss 10s okay yeah it the, looks really nice actually sat really goofy yeah the 964 sat goofy yeah my dad's got a 90 um four screen metallic nice yeah yeah and these look best with cup ones yep. 17s yeah so and did you put these on or did it come with the cup I ones? did. Okay. I did. Yeah, they look good. That's what makes, I think, the cup. I love ones. the cup ones. Right. The original lights, like on all 964s, these turn purple. They go purple. pink, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, they change colors and yeah. crack. So I bought a pair of genuine Porsche ones, uh -huh. put them on, and I mean, it's so iconic of the 964. Oh, yeah. It's same for it being guards red. Guards red is so classic. With the is it cashmere. glove? Cla cashmere. Cashmere. Okay. Cashmere interior. Cashmere so, interior. So, so it those are the original mats, and they were always covered. So the mats. Yeah, you don't see the mint. light brown that ha right. that aren't totally beat up. Correct. Yeah. So if you notice that the, I haven't done it yet, but the driver's seat's a little crack, starting to crack, whereas my passenger seat looks brand new. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's original, so I'm competing in the unrestored yep. class. So it's the original radio, yep. tape deck. Love that. Um, I just think it's super clean. It's super it's so clean. quintessential 90s, 911, with the guards red, yes. with the cashmere interior. Yes. And again, the, 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 the cup, cup ones. ones. Yeah, I completely cup agree ones, with you. And you put the Euro height on these cars. And I mean, I don't know how many people admit to it, but it looks like almost everyone does it to it. Yeah, yeah. And rarely do you see them with the D90s. My dad them. has the D90s on really? his, yeah, and he's keeping it. Yeah, well, they're coming back now, actually. I know. Have they you seen that now. they now make like a larger D90s? No. They make like 19 oh, D90s wow. and yeah. stuff, yeah. Were the G90s 16s or 17s? I don't remember. I don't Maybe know. 60s. I'm not sure though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing me. Yeah, absolutely. Really cool. Yeah. I love the color of this 912. I love the roof rack. I love the whole vibe about this 912. Got the Momo Prototipo. Interior looks to be in nice condition. Of course, no uh, no mirror on this side. I don't know what color this is. I gotta find the owner, but it is really, really cool. Okay, I'm here with the owner of this beautiful, is it 72? It's a 71. 71, okay. Can you, can you tell me about your car? Um, it's a 71 911E built out as a 73 Carrera RS. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a 2.7 liter. MFI motor. Great. So that's so that's like this, that's the same one as the RS. Then, yes, right? it's yeah. built to a uh, yeah. RS specs. Um, it's flared body, everything done the same. Um, when you got the, it, did it look like this? It did look like this. Oh, okay, cool. So, mm -hmm. and the interior interior is awesome. So the interior is like this 
kind of tartan pink and blue i love the custom uh luggage custom yeah. luggage yeah yes came yeah. with the custom interior luggage matching mm -hmm. luggage um it's the recaro sport seats yep um done up the tachometer if you notice is color matched to the car oh wow i didn't notice that yeah it's got so it's got the momo prototypo looks like the 350 you've got the red line red line pedals really cool and what so it's the same spec on the wheels as well yes the same spec wheel and tire and it's got a 915 transmission then it's got a 901 dog leg 901 oh okay did the rs's have that i'm not sure yeah that's a good question i don't know that answer either very cool how long have you had it uh, about a year yeah and do you drive it a lot i've put about 3,000 miles on it yeah. in the first year so good it gets around yeah i think i've seen it I've seen it around. You're here in Orange County, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen it too. Yeah, it's it's very too cool. A, a lot of cars and coffees. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Here. Well, thanks for sharing. Well, thank you. 2013. Yeah, 997.2. Mm -hmm. It was one of the very last Porsches made in 2013 because they were coming out with the 991s. Right. Um, on the Porsche registry, which I have in the glove box, the, um, there was only 77 made out of the 911 to style, and seven of them went to Canada, okay. and then the other 70 came to the United States, and it breaks down the coupes. There was about 40 made, and then the Cabriolets, there was about, um, uh, you know, 20-some, and then um, and this is PDK, and then some of them had... Um, you know, the stick shift models in it. So it's rare because it's a 13? Yeah, because of yeah. the 13 and there was only 77 made. Right. So it's... Um, it they really were switching everything over to the 991s yeah, they, at the factory, yeah, they were, right? Yeah, coming out with the 991. So yeah. So that's more or less... So I'm the second owner. Yep. And when did you get it? Um, let's see, probably four years ago. Okay. And do you drive it? Yes, I, it's got 40,000 miles I love on it, it, so I drive it and enjoy it every day. Heck yeah, don't save it for anybody. So, and then, uh, so it's black and the interior is black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, oh, I like the white dials. My car has the white dials also. And then I'm going to open the other door to show you something that's unusual. Okay. And that would be... It doesn't uh, have the one in it. This has a Porsche umbrella. No way. Really? That's, yeah. And that's where it goes right there? See that slot? Yeah, I have that slot in my yeah, car. Okay, there it is. That's what I went to the uh, Porsche dealer and I says, a young guy came up and he says, Where's your umbrella? And I said, And he says, It goes in there. So I went to the Porsche dealer and, the, and I went to the, you know, the guy and I says, You I have a Porsche umbrella and he says no i don't have one so oh darn it so <laughs> i st started to walk out and here's the it's the only one it, he had left and it was in the display case no way so 70 dollars for well, this well sure yeah. yeah you gotta have it. <laughs> you gotta have it though how nice is that so that's where it goes right <laughs> 21 gt4 uh ordered it direct to the factory awesome so um, you spec'd everything that I you spec'd wanted everything and yeah. watched it being built wow um, it's a year old. I got it just in July of last year. And how do you like it? It's truly an amazing car. Yeah. Uh, I have a 911 also. Uh huh. What uh, year? A 2017 Turbo S. Okay. And uh, you like fast cars? I like fast cars. <laughs> I've got a several other fast cars. Yeah. Uh, this was specced with the carbon ceramic brakes, yeah. PD PDK. Um, and how do you like mid-engine versus rear engine? It is truly different. Yeah. Um, for raw power, yeah, I, I don't think you can beat a 911, yeah. especially a turbo 911. Right. It's and you just, said you have a turbo S? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. just hard power. This is very linear power. It uh -huh. comes on very predictable. Right. Uh, I've had it on the track. Because yeah, this it's, is naturally aspirated. Correct. Yeah. It's a four liter naturally aspirated. Uh -huh. It's uh, it's very predictable on the track. Yeah, I can I feel very comfortable at, at fairly high speeds. Um, the wheels are massive. Oh my gosh! 
these what are, are these? Twenties? Yeah. <sighs> the car is so cool. The new uh, to the Porsche race specs. Oh, nice! So you've upgraded the suspension a little right. bit. Yeah. Oh, the Alcantara interior is really nice. And it, does it come with that cage? No, I put the cage in myself. Okay. Very cool. I love here on the Caymans that you've <laughs> you've got a trunk. <laughs> Correct. And you have space up front too. And you have space yeah, up front. Yeah, not like you're gonna use it on the track, but still. Throw your extra helmet in there and let it roll around well, in the bag, that's, right? That's it, yeah. <laughs> Check out this GT2 RS. Just the front of this car is so mean. It's got the Vysok package. You can see on the headrest. And my favorite part is emotional support vehicle. Okay, so I'm here with the owner of this brown SC. What What's the color of this car? This is a, this was a special order color in 1980 called Mocha Brown. Mocha Brown. And the interior is called Cork. I love the interior. Yep. The and combination of the two browns is perfect. Yep. Uh, my father bought the car new in 1980. No way. I bought it from him in 1985 and been taking care of it ever since. So, wow, how many miles do you have on it? I uh, just turned 50,000 miles. Okay, so you must have other cars that you drive. Yep, been a weekend warrior. Yeah, do you have other Porsches? I do, I've got a, a, a 2012 GTS. Okay. Ferrari GTS. Yeah. So, had a couple others, but uh, pinned out the, uh, the herd. Out the, the last, yeah. last couple of years. So, yeah. Uh, this car um, it's original paint wow and original numbers matching engine and all that mm -hmm. so uh, did it come with this front spoiler this no that was that was definitely one that we uh, that we added okay so that and the momo wheel uh, oh yeah upgraded mm -hmm. the, the, the radio okay um, when my dad bought the car we immediately took the sevens the stock sevens yep. put them rear, up front put them up front and bought eights for the rear yep and it's been been in that condition ever since yeah had a decamber uh, yeah it looks it's a really nice a ride low. height yeah so we had that uh lowered uh, initially so other than that it's pretty much a bone stock car it's awesome yeah so and such a I, I don't know if i've ever seen this color before it's, it's an unusual was it only approach. made that that year? No, no. They, they, there was a, they. I know they had it on seventy nines. Got it. Um, and they've had it on different models too. Okay. Like, uh, nine forty four. Yeah. Nine, might be nine twenty eight. So okay. But uh, it was definitely a special order color. I see. So did your dad special order it, or did he go into no, the dealership he, and it was he, sitting there? It was sitting at the dealership at, at uh, Vasek Pollock. Oh, Vasek Pollock. Okay, I'm classic. Sorry, I'm sorry, not Vasek, but uh, in Newport. Oh, at uh, uh, Iverson? Iverson. Yeah. Iverson. So he bought it off the floor at Chick Iverson. So. Very cool. And then he realized the, the errors of his mistakes. Uh, uh, after 85, after selling me the car, he missed it so much, he went and bought an 87. No so, way. <laughs> so, and my brother still owns that car. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Nice. So I'm guessing this will be passed down as well. Yeah. In fact, I had that discussion with my son this, uh, this past weekend. He said, Is your son passionate yeah, about these cars? Yeah. You know, when, you know, when am I going to get this car? All know, right. Is this yours? Good. Yeah. Is this Beautiful. This Thank you. Oh, Check out this 911 S like uh, real racy and uh, we'll go around the car I love the meatballs I'm a big fan of two uh, center pipes on old 911s it has a cool racy look this car's got the the longer wheel studs here that I think is also kind of a racy look it's got the Momo Proto Tipo Houndstooth of course the roll bar but look it's got the got the drivers on the side the fire <laughs> so cool I'm standing in front of this uh, 930 turbo and I just couldn't not show you 
how new and clean these wheels and tires look on this thing. Check it out. First of all, this car is beautiful. But look at the wheels and tires. I mean, these look like they're directly from the factory. Really amazing. Stance is perfect. Look at the big uh, fenders. All right, I'm here with the owner of this 912. What year is it? This is a 1968, 912. Okay, and what is this beautiful color? It's called, it's a pastel blue. Pastel very rare blue. Color. They didn't make very many in this color. It's a special order. Special color. order. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the sunroof is very rare too. They did very few. Yeah, you don't you sunroof. don't see those. And it's electric sunroof. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I heard you saying when you got it, you had to do a bunch of work on it, right? Yeah, I put some new piston barrels in it. Okay. Uh, and also carburetors. It went from the original Solex carburetors which I had rebuilt and we just couldn't get them tuned right, so. It, I, and did you lower the car? Cause it, it looks like it's at the perfect height. Yeah, it's been lowered, yeah. Yeah, no, it just looks fantastic. And I'm guessing you did this interior too? We had the uh, seats rebuilt. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they came with horse hair. Okay. And now it's got foam, especially the driver's seat. It yeah. always just collapsed and so. And then did you redo the dash also? No. The dash no, was like that? Came, I, I got from the guy I bought it from, he's pretty much did the engine. Yeah. Yeah. Pastel blue, wow. There's, there's radio, like yeah. radio. Yeah. Yeah. wheels. And how many special. miles does it have on it? I, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Who, who knows? cares? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, thanks. All right, so I'm here with the owner of this 930 Turbo. It's 84, is that it's correct? 84, yep. It's yeah, actually can... a uh, turbo look. It's not a 930. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, wow, those are rare, right? The, what, 1,500? Uh, uh, somewhere between two and 3,000, so I'm not exactly okay. sure. But uh, yeah, over, over an eight-year period, and, uh, worldwide, not a ton. So. And tell me about what have you done on it? What came with it? So I've had it for about a year and a half now and uh, I've done a few things, uh, mostly on the interior. I had the seats redone with the tartan inserts. Yeah, the tartan looks really cool. It's really awesome, especially with the, with the brown color. What's the name of the color? The color is called Rausch Quartz Metallic. Rausch Quartz? Yes, uh, gray quartz is yeah. the translation. Um, other than a sport muffler and a steering wheel, 930S steering wheel. So it has the 3.2 right motor then? It's got the 3.2, yeah. Great, that's the motor I have in my car, I love it. So everything else on it is um, from the turbo. So the widened bodywork, turbo brakes, turbo suspension, tie rod right. um, but with the 3.2, you're right. Yep. Super cool. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. How do you guys all get these amazing wives that are... Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, over here, she's got the Q-tip. You've got the, the 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 wax and the oh my gosh, this is amazing. My wife doesn't even come with me to these things. We wanted a 912 in 1969, but we didn't have any money, and so uh, about, a, about a year later we sold uh, one of our houses, and um, they had, of course it stopped making them. Yeah. And so we looked all over the country, but we ended up buying this one from. Uh, a guy in uh, Beverly Hills, uh -huh. and he had this one for a year, and he went out and bought a new uh, uh, 71 Targa, yep. 911, with every, everything on it, and so it was uh, low mileage, and um, it had been serviced uh, in Beverly Hills the whole time. So what year did you get it? We got it in January of 71. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's been great. And is it Bahama Yellow? Yes. Yeah. Bahama Yellow, yeah. Wow. It has been repainted. Uh, we, uh -huh. we were in um, uh, Palm Springs, uh, actually at a car event, like 35 years ago or so, and uh, we got sandblasted. We got caught in the oh no, my wife's from Palm Springs, so we're out there all the time, and I hate that when that we happens. Just, we just got caught, you know? Yeah. And, and so uh, we had to have it repainted, and uh, uh, they replaced the front windshield. Oh, really? Wow, how many miles have you put on it? Um, I don't know, you can take a look, it's over 200,000. Oh, I love that. Right, yeah. Do you know what it was when you bought it? It was under 10,000. Yeah, 10, wow. Yeah. A lot of memories in this car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really cool. It's, it's been great.
Can you give my wife lessons on on, on how to clean a car? <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw you with the Q-tip on the wheels. Oh, yeah. Oh my yes, gosh. You're gonna clean it. You gotta clean it. Yeah. The price is right. <laughs> the car washer. This is a 97. 97? Last of the air yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. I feel like you don't see 993 Targas often. No, there were very few made. Now, I wish I knew the number. I can tell you that the last of the air cools were uh, 1998 is the last registered. No, it looks great. The 993 air cool. Right. Which is the last of the air cools. But they only had uh, 420 of those. Wow. So if you're a purist, it'd be nice to have a 98, but this is a 97. Yeah. And there were no major changes. And when did you get it? Uh, I got it uh, eight years ago mm -hmm. with 63,000 miles on it. It had been in five Concord shows. Wow. And finished, uh, I'm sorry, seven Concord shows mm -hmm. and finished first or second in five of them. Wow. So now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm 10 for 12. Wow. With this. So now, it depends on the group that you're in. This yeah. It's never been in a full Concorde group because uh -huh. it has too many miles. This car has uh, 89,500 miles. Good. I drive this car. Heck yeah, I love they that. need to be driven. Heck yeah. And the, the other element is they, um, uh, with that kind of miles on it, the, the street division is the best division for me to be in. Right yeah. Now. You can move up in the divisions, but it gets tighter and tighter. Sometimes you'll compete with cars that have under 20,000 miles on them. Yep. And they're like, and they're like a 1996. Right, 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 right. So, I drive this about 4,000 miles a year. Great. So, what What else do you drive? I'm sure uh, this isn't your a, only one. No, no, that's true. Though. <laughs> that's interesting about Porsche people. Yeah. They usually have, I say usually, I'll bet you that at least 50% of yes. Porsche owners have yeah. more than one. Yeah, I have three. Porsche. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So perfect because once you get the, used to the mark and like it, you know the quality of the car. That's and right. And then last question is Does your wife give lessons on how to be a good wife? To me. Okay. And it's only yeah. a good husband. Yeah. No, no. The only lessons that I get are just from her. Yeah, that's right. She I teaches you everything. Yeah, giving her. Amazing. Because, well, good luck. Pay for that. Okay, we're good. All right. It's been a great day looking at these cars, and I think the best part is connecting with other Porsche owners, finding out their stories. I love seeing people brag about how many miles they have on their car. You probably don't see that at a Ferrari event. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe to whatever I'm doing. See ya.